Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Another week means another episode for the daily race. So, I mean, this week I'll be in the Aston Martin DBR9. You can see I'll be starting from pole position. This is actually the first time I used the Aston Martin in a very long time. Because I can remember there was a time when the circuit de Barcelona was in the daily race. It really costed me like a lot. It had a lot of oversteer. But I decided to give it a go in this week's daily race. See how things will go. So anyways, race is about to start. And here we go. Lap number one guys. Behind me is the this this is the Ford Master. And behind them is um a Bima. And you'll, you'll realize in this uh, race, I'll be playing defensive for most of the lap 1 and lap 2 because the oops, and you can see I'm going off track a little bit. You can see I'll be going defensive um, in this race a lot because I was getting a lot of pressure from the, uh, from the Mustang behind. You can see I'm covering, covering the inside line, going defensive, so that uh, it cannot risk the overtake because <laughs> I'm not giving him enough space. And you can see they're still behind my trail, right behind my trail. You can see, for, for now, basically, um, racing lines do not matter. I'm just following the inside line, trying to cover 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 up that um, that in, in inside space. And uh, you can see, I'm going to the right, and then I'll eventually go a bit to the left to cover the inside line to prevent um, the overtake. So playing defensive here, and um, oops, I think I did a very early break. And you can see that's why um, the Mustang is ahead. But I think the um, Aston Martin has a better straight speed. Yeah. You can see there we are, we are very, very close to each other, giving each other enough space to overtake. So that's what a fair racing is like. And you can see he yielded. So now he gave me the space and back to my number one position. So you, you can see if I miss even a little bit, it will definitely take up my position. And you can see I'm in this uh, corner. I think I'll go defensive again. I have to. Yep, you can see it defensive, covering that inside line. And it worked well, it worked in my favor. You can see it's still behind me. And uh, B is also fast catching up. So anyways, the, the first lap is almost over. I'm still playing defensive as much as I can. Because if I give up that number one spot, that is it, that is GG's basically. So I yeah, into the last turn, the first lap. And I'm still in first. <laughs> and you can see the car is just behind me. And you can see um, on the left timer there is um, in 0.4 seconds behind. So into turn one. Here we go. Break up the 100 marker board. And uh, you can see I didn't cover the inside line. And just as I feared, he took it. But then again, the Aston Martin has a better straight speed. So and I take back the position. And I have to go defensive again here. Yeah. I cannot risk, risk, it, risk it again because uh, you can see behind the turn one took the position, but uh, fortunately he took it back. And so yeah, you can see the, the Mustang is still behind, me, right behind me, applying that pressure, hoping I make a mistake. And spoiler a lot, of which I think we did right about here. <laughs> Please don't laugh. <laughs> so yeah, I went a bit off track into the grass, and for some reason. They didn't overtake me, and I noticed um, they had an accident, so we'll see how it went. Uh, so it was the master. So the master, uh, I also did a very late break, and uh, oops, that was definitely the cabs. The cabs um, offset the car, and also the number two, I think, it also had the accident. The Beamer, that's why he didn't catch up. Let's look at him. Ah, <laughs> this one, this one was a lost case. Yeah, he, he was out. <laughs> Even before that turn, and um, yeah, of course, you went off track. But that place is actually very, very tricky. It's very tricky for a car. You have to be very, very careful. So, anyways, <laughs> it all worked in, in my favor. And so, yeah, I, I increased the gap. Because the two cars, the Mustang and the Beamer that were behind me, they both got an accident. And yeah, so basically, that was uh, the whole race. Because <laughs> I didn't make another mistake. And yeah. And as you can see, I increased the gap to over five seconds. Over, yeah, five seconds, yeah. So, yeah, the Aston Martin took, took it, took it home, despite uh, the accidents. Okay, not really accidents, but just one accident. 
But then fair play to the guy, to the guy in the master. He really gave me a lot of pressure in the So yeah, that's the first race. And so um I I decided to go for another time. I mean for an, another round with a, with another slower car. So this time I went to the um, the another Aston Martin. And you can see okay in the um, when I was waiting for the next race, when I was doing the qualifying time, apparently I did a better qualifying time. <laughs> As you can see, you know, my qualifying, qualifying time is to 11, and with the previous Aston Martin, it was to 12. So, how, how is it that a slower car is making a better time? I mean, you don't know. But I think it's, it, 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 all comes, um, it all comes down to the feel of the car. Because I, I was definitely more comfortable with, uh, with uh, this Aston, Aston Martin compared to the, uh, the previous one, the, compared to the DB9. So, anyways, um, still start, start, starting, starting from Paul. And behind me is the Frenchman, and I think he's in a... That's a golf. Yeah, it's a golf. That's yeah, definitely a golf. Very good in the corners. Very, very good guy in the corners. Very, very good. So he's into turn one. So um, in, in this uh, race, I'll also be doing a... I mean, um, I'll, I'll, only showing, I'll, I'll only be showing the first lap because um, it was the same results. Um, I mean, the, the, the golf didn't really put much pressure because, I mean, it's, it's, good, it's good in the corners, but not so good in the straights. And that's where I pulled away, pulled away from the golf. So that's basically what happened uh, in this race. You can see, okay, now it's not 0.9. Now it's one second. Now, because of the corners, you'll see 0.9 again, 0.8, 0.7, 0.6. Yeah, and uh, as, I, as I'm on the straights, another it i went up to one one second gap again so you can see the the middle is good in the corners but on the streets the aston martin recovers and it recovers very well so and that, that that was um basically how it went i was very good in the streets and i used that to my advantage and i built the gap and uh, that was basically the summary of this race <laughs> as you can see so now it's one second gap and I think I increased the gap to um, like maybe four or five seconds as the race went on, as you will see later on. Yeah, man, in this race I didn't really have any um, pressure applied. You can see um, it was only the, the golf and I. And you can see um, the, the first lap is almost over. And then you have to go full throttle. Except here on the downward um, slope, uh, you release the acceleration just a little bit and then again full throttle until the next uh, 100 markable. And the last time, into third gear and apply the gas again. So, yeah, that was basically how the rest went. Just me in the lead, and um, so I'll have to fold a bit so you guys can see. Let me put uh, the timing. So the rest display. You can see I'm just alone, and you can see I'm on the right. I'm, I'm, my my times are improving because the first lap I did at 2:15, the second one I did at 2:11, 11.7, and I think I'll put a better lap time in the final lap. Yeah, most definitely. I was very rapid in this uh, session. Very very rapid. And what time will I be getting to 11? Oops! Like I said, I, I was way, way. I was so fast in this uh, race. And so, yeah, that, that, that was it. Thank you guys for tuning in. Until um, next week. See you next time. Okay, 50. Be safe. And bye.